Exactly in the middle of the forest, and a little bit higher, deep inside our brain, is a part which is known as the pineal gland, or the third eye. We can say that the function of this gland has many secrets, so many that some believe we can use this gland to connect with the world beyond. But is this claim real? It seems so. Hello to you again. Welcome to Top to Box. In this video, you are going to get familiar with the power and the essence of this special part in our body. But before getting started, remember to like this video if it was useful. By the way, if you are new to top to box and are interested in these videos, subscribe and turn on the bell. We are going to provide more similar videos in the future. The pineal gland, the third eye, ajna, all refer to this special and mysterious part in our brain. But what really is the third eye? As believed in Hinduism, there are seven main chakras in our body, which are counted as the energy sources for our body, or in other words, the energy streams for our survival. The third eye chakra is counted as the sixth main chakra of the body. The familiarity with this chakra goes long back and it was held great respect and attention for since then. We said that the third eye is exactly in the middle of the forehead and is very much like a pea or a pine corn. The activity of this gland is completely vital for our physical, mental, and spiritual health. Those who have been able to open their third eye have been able to do things which others can't. Seeing around without eyes being open, reading the minds and predicting others' behavior, and connecting with the extra-dimensional creatures are some examples of these abilities. Even what we know as the sixth sense is related to this chakra. We can say that by opening the third eye, we can do things that we normally can't. The other thing that the pineal gland does is producing the melatonin or DMT gland. Melatonin adjusts the seasonal cycle in our sleep and helps us sleep easily. Melatonin adjusts the maturity period and also fights the free radicals. The reduction in melatonin starts the aging process. Serotonin, which we know as the nerve transmitter or the chemical which creates happiness and adjusts our temper, turns into melatonin only in the pineal gland. But DMT makes us see things which we in normal conditions can't. DMT is in the list of the strongest psychedelics. Through scientific tests, it became clear that this material is in the pineal gland of the mice too. It has been said that this material is set free in the close-to-death experience, and it is probably this which explains the spiritual connection and awakening of the person. The closing of the third eye stops the body from producing DMT. In order for us to reach spiritual growth and higher wisdom, we need to clean our pineal gland and keep it away from toxics. As we use poisonous materials, the pineal gland gets so-called limey, and the more toxics we use, the limier this gland will get. In the end, it would make us lose the spiritual connection and our uniqueness with the above energies and everything. The inconsistency of the third eye chakra can be followed by physical and spiritual problems. Many experience this as temporarily feeling dizzy and anxious, having a headache, a head rush, or migraine, lack of concentration, tired eyes, hearing problems, lack of sleep, and nightmares. But what will cause the pineal gland to be blocked? The improper diet, being exposed to the toxics in the environment, and the food we eat the stress and the modern life, 
The pineal gland will be tightened and it stops working by the calcification. Even the electromagnetic fields created by the cell phones or the wireless devices destroy this gland. The gland calcifies when it encounters fluoride. These calcifications are known as corpora arenexia or brain sand and are made up of calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, magnesium phosphate, and ammonium phosphate. In general, the chemical matters which are harmful for the pineal gland are the fluoride in most of the toothpaste and the mains water, the food products for which pesticides are used to be produced, food conservators and chemical materials, alcohol, smoking, too much coffee drinking, and salt eating. These materials loosen up the pineal gland and make it lose its power. It has even been said that the supplements containing calcium are harmful for our health and we had better get the calcium from the right eating diet and the dishes rich in calcium, like peanut, vegetables with green leaves, and mashed service or tahini. To clean the pineal gland, we need to change our lifestyle. Drinking pure water is very important. We need to limit using sugar and caffeine or stop them completely, if possible. What is very important is that we need to avoid using alcohol and tobacco. We need to take organic and natural foods in the preparation process of which no pesticides are used or are not genetically changed. The other way to detox the pineal gland is using chlorella, spirulina, and wheat germ in the diet. Using oregano oil is one of the best detoxification and activation methods for the pineal gland, which makes it look transparent. Using vinegar and pure cocoa also has a very good impact on the pineal gland. After the de detoxification of the pineal gland, we can work on activating the pineal gland. The easiest way to activate the third eye is through meditation, especially meditation by focusing on the third eye's region, which you can do in yoga and meditation methods. In the ancient world, looking at sun was the strongest way to activate the pineal gland. The great and experienced masters of Surya Yoga in Himalaya would put a silver coin in between their eyebrows on the forehead and practice while staring at the sun. We can say that the best time for meditation is in the dawn, because Earth's electromagnetic field is charged and stimulates the pineal gland. It seems that in the dawn, the negative energy in the pineal and the positive energy in the pituitary glands next to each other create a light in the head. Of course, there are other ways to activate the pineal gland too, some of which I will refer to. You need to spend some time every day under the sun. You need to sleep in absolute darkness. You need to regularly meditate. This helps the pineal gland grow and improve. Yoga exercises are also strong methods to wake up the pineal gland. Turning upside down in these exercises is very important because blood stream increases in the body. But the question is that, is it possible that our third eye has actually been our first eye? Well, we need to say in response that the scientific evidences and experiences confirm this possibility. Researchers put the pineal gland under the microscope and found that the features of this gland are like the eyes. It became clear in this experiment that the pineal gland, just like human's eye, is built from bar cells which are sensitive to light and are found in the retina. The pineal gland receives signals which move toward the sight nerves. In fact, it seems that the pineal gland worked for seeing before the appearance of our eyes. The pineal gland has the ability 
to present an imagination from the world around us through our senses. But how do we know that our third eye is in balance or not? There are many ways to know about this. One of the signs of the balance in the third eye is that we can trust our inner knowledge and our imaginations. This makes us have balance in our decisions. In other words, we can control our lives with inner knowledge and balance in our feelings. Of the signs of the third eye being open, we can mention reading other people's minds, tiredness and pulse in between the eyebrows, high sensitivity to light, desire to change permanently, predicting the future, foresighting, and a strong sense about the hidden issues. If you saw all of these or some of them inside yourself, you probably have experienced the opening of the third eye. But if you'd like to know about the ways to open the third eye, make sure to let us know in the comments. By the way, how useful was this video to you? Do not forget to like if you could gain something useful from this video. And subscribe and turn on the bell to see the related videos. Thank you very much for staying with us up to here. Remember, we can create a better future for ourselves and those around us by knowing more about the world around us. Like always, we wish you the best. See you in another video in Chapter Box.